The final resting place of a loved one is considered sacred ground. Now, as our Brad Davis reports, a Tarpon Springs Cemetery will soon have something in place to stop the vandals who have been dishonoring the dead. Several times a month, Spiro Mutsatsos comes here to the Cicadia Cemetery in Tarpon Springs to visit his parents' final resting place and tidy up around the plot. He says it provides him a sense of peace. It does give me comfort to know that, uh, that my, uh, my family, my mother and father who are buried here, uh, that the, uh, the cemetery lot, the plot uh, is protected. But not as protected as it's going to be. It was long the dream of former city commissioner and longtime cemetery board member F. Ketrell Powell, who's also buried here, to fence the property in. This project has been years in the making. It's been a long standing interest within the community to do something to better protect the cemetery during closed hours. Currently, a small knee wall is all that keeps people out. It's used as a cut through by people on foot. Perhaps more disturbing, there have been cases of vandalism. Grave markers knocked over. This one has been repaired, but vandals have also targeted small crosses on top of candle lanterns that are present at many of the grave sites. Even the large concrete sphere that used to be on the gravestone of one of the cemetery's early benefactors has been vandalized. We have had isolated incidents of vandalism in the past, and this is something that we take very seriously, and whatever we can do to prevent it in the future, uh, this project will go a long way towards that. Early next year, a six-foot wrought iron fence will be put up that surrounds the entire cemetery, giving families the comfort of knowing their loved ones are truly resting in peace. I'm very pleased that the city council is doing that. Uh, it is important uh, to me and to, to me and my family that who have relatives that are buried here and that to keep, preserve it as, as we know it to be. In Tarpon Springs, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.